Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. I hope you are all having such a wonderful weekend. Make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you're doing this weekend. Today we are making number 163 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. This one worked up so fast so it won't even take a, a lot of time off, out of your weekend today. Uh, this one has a written pattern. It is called Square Motif Baby Blanket, uh, which this square is part of a larger project and you can check that out by Elaine. Uh, she is from ABC Knitting Patterns, so you can check that out and see the baby blanket that she made uh, using this square type, and you can even make a blanket of your own. It looks so fabulous. Uh, in today's video, I am using Red Heart Super Saver yarn. This is just a 10-ply yarn. You can use any 8-ply or 10-ply scrap yarn that you have. I'm feeling a little bit yellow and orange and red today. I love these colors, so uh, you can use any scrap scraps like I said. We are also using an H size crochet hook so make sure you have that handy as well as a yarn needle and a scissor because we'll be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends and those tools just come in handy in this whole project so make sure you have those. Before we start I want to mention there are links in the description of this video so there will be a link to my blog where you'll get all 365 days of granny squares. If you click the image it will take you to the video tutorial here on YouTube. And then at the bottom of my blog, there's a list of the ones that do have written patterns. Not all of them have written patterns, but the majority do. Uh, so you can uh, scroll down there and you will see number 163. It will say square motif baby blanket by Elaine. So you can click that and follow along with her written pattern today. Um, so make sure you check that out. Also, there is a link in the description of this video to my Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you're following me on both platforms and liking my uh, posts. And also um, make sure to uh, leave a comment on today's post on Facebook with your photo of today's square. And if you share a photo on Instagram, make sure to hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia so that I can see your work. I know I say this every single day, but I just want to remind you. And for those of you who are just joining in on this project, you'll know what to do and you can catch up with us. We're only at 163, so we've got a bunch more to go. So you can catch up with us for sure. So check out all the information in the description of this video. Follow me on Snapchat. I have to say thank you to my dad for as much for taking the time out to make these videos with us. So make sure you leave him a comment also and subscribe to our channel on YouTube so you can get the update on when we post our next video, which will be tomorrow morning. So let's just get started and making number 163 granny square. To start off, let's make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, fold that down, and then pull that through. Pull tight, insert your hook, and we can start. Let's start off by chaining six. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to go way over here into the very first chain and we're going to make a slip stitch. So insert your hook way over there, then yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So pull it through all the way and you've created a ring just like that. Now if you are familiar with the magic ring, you can start off that way and put 16 double crochet into a magic ring, but I'm just going to start this way. So now we're going to chain up three, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three, and that counts as our first double crochet of this round, round one. We are going to make 15 double crochet into this ring to count this as 16 double crochet. So this chain of three counts as a stitch, so we are going to put 15 double crochet. A double crochet is yarn over, go into the ring, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that is a double crochet. So yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's two. Yarn over, go into the ring. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through two loops. That's three. This is four. Five. 
whoopsie, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see I'm working in a circular form as well and over the top of this straggler here so I don't have to sew that in later. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. All right, once you have all sixteen, oh, you know what, we'll have to count back. We want to have sixteen stitches, and this chain of three counted as a stitch, so I'm going to count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Whoops, I did one extra. So I'm going to take this one out, put my hook into that loop, and now I have sixteen stitches, which includes this chain up three here. So count back sixteen, it should reach to this uh, chain up three here, one, two, three, slip stitch into that, so just insert your hook into that third chain, Yarn over, pull through, and through. And that was round number one. Going on to round number two, I'm going to change colors. I'm going to chain up one and cut my yarn. If you're not changing color, make sure to chain up three and go on to round two with me. But if you're changing color, just continue pulling that through. Pull it tight. Start your next round, round two, in any stitch around. I'm just going to go right back into that chain up three there. Grab my new color. Hook that on the hook and pull it through. And then we're going to chain up three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. Now for round two, we are going to put two double crochet into the same space that we just attached our yarn to and chained up three here. So yarn over, go into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So now it looks like there's three double crochet into that same stitch. Now we're gonna chain two, so yarn over, pull through, one and two. We are going to skip this next stitch right here, and we're gonna put a double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, skip this stitch, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, skip the next stitch right here, and we're gonna put three double crochets into this next stitch. So yarn over, skip this stitch, go in here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And again, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And basically, we just created our side. These three uh, double crochets here and these three double crochets here are our corners. So now we're going to repeat what we did, so chain two, one, two, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, one, two, put three double crochet, we're gonna skip this next stitch and then put three double crochet in this next stitch here. So one, two, three. Then just repeat, so chain two, one, two, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, chain two, one, two, skip the next stitch, put three double crochet in the next stitch. So one, two, and three. Then chain two, one, two, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and then chain two, and skip this last stitch here, and then slip stitch into the chain up three, the first chain up three of this round right here, one, two, three, just go right at the top there, insert your hook, just like we did for round one, yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, so at this point I am going to change color. You can see here, uh, it sort of looks like a square, but not quite yet, really. That's how it's going to look. 
Okay, so now we are going to go on to round three. If you're not changing color, just chain of three and go on to round three with me. I'm actually only going to chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight. I'm going to insert my hook right back into that same stitch though that we just slip stitched into that chain of three here. You can start in any first double crochet of the corner. So in this first double crochet of this one, which is the furthest to the right, right here or right here. Okay, I'm just gonna start right in this same one that we just slip stitched into though, since if you're not changing color, you can follow along easier with me. And I'm grabbing my new color here and I'm gonna hook that on my hook and pull it through. Now I'm gonna chain up three, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three, and that counts as our first double crochet, just like it has been for round one and two. And now for round three, we're going to hop into this very next double crochet right here, and we're gonna put five double crochets in that one. That should be the middle stitch of this three double crochet grouping here. We're gonna put five double crochets in there. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Then we are going to double crochet into this next double crochet right here. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Just like that. Then we are going to uh, chain two, one, two, skip over the chain two space right here and put a double crochet into this double crochet right here just like that. Then chain two, one, two, skip over this double, or this uh, chain two space, sorry, and double crochet into this next double crochet here. And now we should be at the middle double crochet of this next grouping. So we're gonna put five double crochets in there. So put one, two, three, four, whoops, and five. And then we're just gonna put one double crochet into the next stitch right here. And we're working on our next side. So we're basically doing a repeat. So chain two, one, two, double crochet in the next double crochet. Then chain two, one, two, double crochet in the next double crochet. And then put five double crochets in the middle double crochet of this grouping here. Okay, then just repeat. So double crochet in the next stitch, then chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two. If you need to, reference the written pattern. Fairly simple though for this round, so I'll meet you up at the end of round three. We'll go on to round four together. Finishing round three, you want to chain two and then slip stitch to the beginning chain up three of this round. So one, two, three right at the top here, just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. Now, if you are not changing color, just chain up three and go on to round four with me, but I'm gonna just chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through, pull that tight. I'm gonna insert my hook right into that same stitch though, so right in there, I'm gonna go in. You can start on any uh, first double crochet of the corner, so right here or in this stitch here, Totally up to you, but I'm just gonna start where we fastened off, just easiest for me. And then grab the new color, hook it on the hook, pull it through, chain up three, one, two, three, and that counts as our first double crochet of this round. And then we're gonna put a double crochet in the next two stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's one, go into the next stitch for two. Okay, now we should be at the center double crochet of this corner grouping here. So you see right here, there's the center, there should be three double crochet on this side and three double crochet on this side, and that is our center one. We are gonna put five double crochet in there, just like we did last round, so one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then we're gonna put one double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, 
two, and three. Now we're going to repeat our side that we did for the previous row. So chain two, double crochet into the double crochet, chain two, and then put a double crochet in the next three stitches, in the next three double crochets here. So one, two and three and now you should be at the middle double crochet of this next grouping here in the corner we're going to put five double crochets into that one stitch so one two three four and five and then we're going to put a double crochet into these next three stitches and basically just repeating that then so next three stitches get one double crochet then we're going to work our side, so chain two, one, two, skip over this chain two space, put a double crochet in the double crochet, then chain two, skip this chain two space here, and put a double crochet in the next three stitches until you get to the center double crochet of the corner here, and we're going to put five double crochets in there. So one, two, three, four and five and then just repeat so put one double crochet in the next three stitches then chain two double crochet in the next stitch then chain two and then just finish your last corner like we were doing so I'll just meet you up at the end of this round all right, just finishing up this last part here, chain two and slip stitch to the beginning, chain up three, one, two, three, right in there. Yarn over, pull through, and through. Now for this next round, if you are not changing color, just chain up three and go on to round five with me. But I'm only gonna chain one, and then I'm gonna cut this yarn and continue pulling it through, and then pull that tight. I'm going to insert my hook right back in there though, right into that top of that chain of three, grabbing my last color, bright red. And I'm gonna pull that through. And now we're basically just repeating the last round. It's just that we have to double crochet now until we get, we have to really count uh, these corners because we wanna get to the very center of our corner here. So we wanna make sure that we have equal amounts on each side. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this would be our center double crochet. And the center double crochets in the corners are going to get five double crochets in those. But then each double crochet is gonna get a double crochet in them. So then we're gonna chain two and skip over our chain two spaces and make sure to double crochet into these double crochets on the side. And then just chain two and skip over these double uh, chain two spaces here and then just repeat your corners. So I'll show you uh, this first corner here. We're gonna chain up three, one, two, three. Double crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And now I should be at the middle double crochet of our corner here. I'm gonna put five double crochets in there. So one, two, three, four, and five. All five stitches in that corner there. And now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now work your side. So we're gonna chain two, one, two, double crochet in this next double crochet, then chain two, and then put a double crochet in the next five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, oopsie, four, and five. And now I'm at the middle double crochet of our next corner, so you know what to do. Just put five double crochets in there and just continue what we've been doing. So you can even repeat this round as many times as you want. Just double crochet in each double crochet until you get to the corner and put five double crochets in the corners. And then just repeat your size just like we've been doing. So you can make your square as big as you want. I'll meet you up at the end of this round though and we'll fasten off together. 
All right, I'm just finishing this round here. I just got to chain two, and then we're going to slip stitch to the beginning chain of three here. One, two, three. Right at the top, just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. And now we can fasten off. But like I said, if you wanted to make this bigger, you could just go on chain up three, double crochet until you get to the center, double crochet of the corner, and put five double crochets in there. Then double crochet in each of these stitches here. Then chain two, double crochet in this double crochet. Then chain two, double crochet into each one of these double crochets until you hit the corner middle double crochet here and put five double crochets in there and so on and so forth. So just uh, you can make this as big as you want so but I'm just gonna fasten off here it's big enough for me so I'm just gonna chain one and cut this yarn pull that through pull tight grab the yarn needle and sew in the ends just like I say every single day sew in those ends either while you're crocheting the square, which I do. I actually do one round and then I sew in the ends from the previous round just so that they're not in my way while I'm doing the next round. But you can sew them in at the end of your square. Totally up to you. There you have it. Number 163 Granny Square is complete. Thank you to Elaine for allowing us to use this square in our pattern or in our big project here. This one turned out so fabulously and worked up really fast. It looks really cool. So thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this square today. Make sure to check out those links in the description of this video. Link to my blog, link to my Facebook, link to my Instagram. Uh, make sure you're hashtagging 365 Days of Granny Squares so that I can see your work. And also follow me on Snapchat and make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. So thanks again for watching. Happy hooking!